Hey my loves, welcome back. Today's topic is going to be something that we all struggle with time to time, self-discipline. We don't know where to start, how to start with building a disciplined lifestyle, but we know that we need it to get things done on time, to be productive, to have more self-control because whatever you can control controls you it becomes especially hard if you're working from home working for yourself in terms of waking hours work schedule and if you're living with your parents in terms of house chores finances in general life responsibilities simply because you don't feel yourself obligated to do these things so you don't push too hard or you come up short there is no one that tells you what you need to do. I'm sure you don't have self-discipline problems at school or office such as going to school at a certain time, attending to classes, finishing reports or presentations because there is already an external power that makes you obligated to do these things. You know you have to do them for a better future to not kick out from school or to pay the bills. As you see, you need a strong reason to take action consistently, so your first takeaway from this video should be self-discipline comes with a strong reason. Focus on the outcome. During workout, if you focus on how much your muscles are burning with an exhaustion, your discomfort, it's going to be harder to keep going. Instead of these, focus on the desired results you'll reach by doing the workout and just hang in there for 10 more minutes pain is temporary but results are permanent during study don't focus on how much boring the study topic is think about using the knowledge one day if you're learning a language imagine yourself speaking fluently by using the words you learned trust me they will come in handy one day i do it myself while studying english and i know i'm not dreaming because you can never know how you're gonna encounter them in the future set the exact goal before you start. I talked about this in my 2023 reset video while mentioning my ideal day. I said I usually plan my day a night before and have a general idea in my mind about how my day is gonna look like but in the morning finalizing my to-do list knowing exactly what I need to get done really helps me stay organized and disciplined so try starting your day with a non negotiable to-do list that way your brain will commit to do it more and actually prepare itself if it's not clear you increase the risk of procrastinating or not doing it correctly or totally start small if you're a beginner with something in other words you do it for the first time you can't have certain expectations or a plan so start small and build up from there self-discipline goes hand in hand with habits so as habits if you keep it small in the beginning it will be easy quick practical and maybe even fun for instance you want to discipline yourself with reading and normally you don't read at all grab a book you're interested in don't have any expectations don't try to finish three books in a month just read a page enjoy it take it slow try to repeat it every other day or if you can every day and over time if you feel like reading more and speeding up the process do it if you don't just have fun with reading very often when we think of building self-discipline we imagine pushing ourselves too hard almost like a soldier like pain sweat tears but it doesn't have to be that way if you want to be disciplined you need to give more value to consistency rather than the action. Remember, slow turtle wins the race. Work with rewards. Make sure to give yourself something you look forward to, something you care about. For example, if you're studying or learning a language, give yourself a reward after finishing the workbook 
or your online school program. And I actually know an online language school that does prepare your reward for you. In Lingoda Supreme Challenge, you can choose the language you want to learn, English, German, French, Spanish. You can choose your sprint, super sprint, you take 30 lessons per month for two months, or sprint, you take 50 lessons per month for two months. And for super sprint, you can get 100% cash back and for sprint 50% cash back if you attend all the classes. I think money is a great motivation factor for most of us, so why not give that a try? It can also help you build the habit of showing up for yourself, showing up for your goals, even though you don't feel like it. For those who don't know what Lingoda is, Lingoda is an online language school that can help you out with learning different languages. You can take one-on-one -on -one classes or learn in small groups with professional teachers, and by using the filters available, you can customize your experience like date, time, topic, level, and learn 24-7. I've tried it out myself one-on-one -on -one and with other students, so for me both are really great. Since Lingoda is kindly sponsoring this video, they have a special discount for sprint challenges for my audience. So when you use my code Cobra 2023, you can get 20 euros or 25 dollars off of your sprint registration or you can simply use the link in my description. It's never too late to start disciplining yourself, just make a commitment, don't give up and claim your price. Trust the timing. Be patient, stick to your habits, routines, daily program, and over time, you'll realize the things that were so hard to do or used to require too much self-control don't feel that hard now. You just do it on autopilot and that's the beauty of patience. Some days you won't feel like doing that thing, but you will do it anyway. That's a part of journey and these are little tests to see if you really want to see the results or not. With that being said, these were my tips on how to build self-discipline and self-control. Thanks so much for watching till the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye!